got seven free websites you probably didn't know existed. Have you ever wished you could erase something from a photo? Well, with Zemo AI, you can. This tool uses AI to easily remove any unwanted objects or people from your images. No more hours wasted in Photoshop or paying someone on Fiverr. With Zemo AI, just brush over whatever you want gone and voila, it's like it was never there. The best part? It's totally free. So this is Zemo AI, and they have this magic remover, so you can remove anything unwanted, including remove the background for free. And all you need to do is just click on start from a photo and select whatever photo that you want. So I have this photo that I generated in mid journey. And what I want to do is I want to remove this little thing in the center. So I'm going to just highlight over this section just like that. And then all I need to do is click on erase. And after just a few seconds, you can see that it has completely removed the object. They have some buttons down here where you can see the original and see what that looks like and then what the object removed looks like if you want to go back and bring that object back you can do that or move it forward and now you have the object like that you can change the brush size if you want so you can make it larger or smaller and you can even zoom into the photo if you wanted to get a close-up shot and make sure that you got every little detail once you're finished all you need to do is click on download current picture and there you go you now have your image if you want to level up your knowledge freelearninglist.org is a collection of the best learning resources online it covers a wide range of topics from business personal development programming and more so this is freelearninglist.org and when you scroll down you can see that there's some different categories things like you YouTube, podcasts, courses, and then we have things like a link, a score, and then if you click on it, so it tells you a little bit about what this resource is, and you can see that it has a score. When you scroll down to the bottom of the page, it says the scores attributed to these resources have been graded on the basis of effectiveness, engagement, design, and popularity, veracity. However, they are also largely subjective evaluations. This list will continue to be updated, and you can also contribute to this via a Google form and join the discussion on their subreddit. So going through, we have categories like YouTube, podcasts, courses, and going through the courses, there's some that I'm familiar with, things like Coursera, Khan Academy, EDX, but there's also quite a few resources on here that I've never heard of before that could just be useful if you're interested in any of those. We have effective thinking, subreddits, general, languages, programming, books, music, how to. So if you're an education junkie and you like free things, maybe this website will help you find something new. If you don't have time to read through an entire article or website, that's where Summary comes in. This tool takes any text or URL and condenses it down to the key points, giving you a concise summary in seconds. It's perfect for when you need to quickly digest information without getting bogged down into the details. So this is summary and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this article that I found online and I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to go back to summary, paste it in, and then I wanted to summarize this article and let's just say two sentences and then click on summarize. So this article is about Amazon Prime's videos disappearing act could point to a future without services. I'm not really sure what the title is implying. I've never read this article, but if I click on summary, it says if you head over to Amazon Prime's UK page, you'll notice that Prime Video isn't among the list of plans near the bottom. Latest videos from Tech Radar. However, the sudden disappearance of Prime Video could be the cause of recent bugs. If I want, I can have it summarize the article in one sentence and then it automatically updates as if you head over to Amazon Prime's UK page, you notice that Prime Video isn't among the list of plans near the bottom. Let's do maybe four sentences. It says back in late January 29, Prime Video introduced ad supported plan as the new basis, which understandably annoyed a lot of people. Let's do seven sentences. Pretty useful tool that will just very quickly and easily summarize everything for you and you can just get it in one sentence or 10 sentences and this is completely free and very quick don't want to pay 20 dollars per month to edit pdfs let me introduce you to pdf 24. if you need to merge pdfs convert files or even e-sign contracts this free pdf editor has got you covered it has 24 different pdf editing tools that you might need and the best part it's 100 free there's no catches no signups no limitations and no hidden fees just a powerful free tool that makes handling pdfs easy this is PDF 24 tools and as you can see we have 24 tools but they actually have more tools available if you click on all tools you can see that there are actually quite a few more things like converting PDFs to different converting from converting to things like creating an invoice cropping a PDF so a little bit more than 24 so if I click on edit PDF and then just choose a file let's do this lease agreement that I found online if we click on add text we can go here and now we can just add some text so I can say whatever the month is and then we can Scale this up, scale this down, change it, whatever we want. Clicking on sign PDF, I'm gonna choose the file, I'm gonna go to the last page, and then we'll click on add signature. 
I'll just do whatever, add that signature in. And just like that, we can add our signature. We can also add text while we're here. If we want, we can remove PDF pages. So I can go to this PDF and then just delete whatever pages that we want. Rearrange PDF pages. So just can move things around very easily. You can also download this tool as a desktop app. If you have dreams, goals, and aspirations, futureme.org lets you write an email to your future self to be delivered on a date that you choose. If you want to get a pep talk from your past self or remind yourself of your goals and why you started them in the first place, this tool can do that. It's like having a built-in accountability partner, keeping you on track and motivated. You can use this for personal or business goals. So this is Future Me, and as you can see, I can just say, Dear Future Me, in five years, if you don't have one million subscribers, what are you doing with your life? And then I can select five years. I can make this public or private and then enter in my email. And then you can just send this letter or you could also support future me. I could choose a specific date. So if I said, let's say one year from now or on my birthday next year and say, happy birthday. These are your goals from this year dot 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 at the top you can also read public letters so i'm going to click on this one and then uh let's see you can read some of the letters people sent to themselves from years ago so this is almost 20 years ago they sent this letter on march 17 2004 and they received it march 17 2024 it says you total and utter idiot dear future me do you realize how much spam you received because you were stupid enough to sign up to this stupid bloody reminder service uh oh that's a little concerning over 19 years ago dear future me woman well they are impossible don't waste your time don't marry them. Don't spend money on them. Ooh, okay. This is uh, a little depressing, but just a fun and useful service that you can use. Need the perfect movie clip for a quote to spice up your content? That's where playphrase.me comes in. This site lets you search for specific phrases and pulls up matching movie clips. So if you want to highlight a point with a classic one-liner, playphrase.me has you covered. It's a game changer for content creators looking to add some B-roll to their work. So this is playphrase.me, and if you click on play, you can see we've got different clips from movies, and then you can see some of the most common phrases that people are looking for, and you can also favorite different phrases. So if you click on, let's say, I don't want to miss. So you can see it's just got a bunch of different movie clips of people saying, I don't want to miss and then whatever. Or if I type down here and let's just say, you've got to be kidding me. And I look up this, you can see that there's 99 clips of people saying, you've got to be kidding me. So it says you can't view more than five phrases per search. So pretty straightforward and pretty useful. Are there blogs you really want to read, but hate taking the time to sit down and read them? With Recast, it can take written content like blog posts and turn them into summarized audio podcasts so you can listen to written content on the go. So this is Recast, and what you can do is you can just click and download the extension, and then you can use the web app. When you log into Recast on the left-hand side, these are going to be articles that you have converted into podcasts. And then over here are just going to be things that other people have created, Things like trending recasts, news and noteworthy, so you can subscribe or listen to any of these for free. But let's say there's an article that you're interested in, all you need to do is click on the extension and then click on recast it. And then it's going to process that article for you. In just a couple of seconds, it says we are adding some magic now. The recast will be in your app and inbox in a bit. When you go back to the app and you click on refresh, you can see that it is processing one article. And on the free version, you have five articles that you can recast per day. Once it's ready, it'll show up right here and then you can take a listen to it. If you want more options with the tool, you need to sign up. It's $10 a month. On the free plan, you can only submit up to five articles per week, but you can listen to other articles that are on the recast app. That was amazing. If you like this video and want to see even more cool tools, then watch this video next.